comes to Albany, tentative date, February 12th, Lincoln's birthday, be back in Albany the next time you hear that there's something big going on. We're going to surround the Capitol building. All right. So, we're going to have Lady Liberty say something to us. Uh, Come up beautiful, here. Come gorgeous here. lady, you'll see on some of those posters, Lady Liberty. And she told us that she would take in the poor and the hungry, right? I don't think she meant that we'd be poor and hungry because we got fracked, right? So this is now Lady Liberty liberating us from the fracking industry, yes? We'll take her back. So we're going to read the Pledge of Allegiance now. Watch you put your hand on your heart. And after me, I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to, the earth, to the earth and the life that it supports and, the life that it supports, and to clean water, and to clean water from, where we're born, from where we're born, one world, one world without, greed, without greed, with responsibility, with responsibility to care for, to care for and protect us all. Came in, 
tested 64 people's water. What did they do? They stabbed everybody in the back and said that water is safe to drink. But none of them would drink it. The governor won't drink it. The secretary of the DEP won't drink it. Well, guess what? After the EPA said that, the governor allowed Cabot Oil and Gas to come in and frack seven wells that had not yet been fracked in the same nine square miles that there's been a moratorium for three and a half years. This is now the good water from the well that this was originally from. Dang, you should right? see it now. Dang, right? if, if you want to see what's happening, you need to come to Northeastern PA. We'll show you, and it's very scary. Here's what we're doing. The DP has turned their back on us, our elected officials have. So guess what we're doing? We're calling in the emergency responders. In Franklin Forks, a year and a month ago, the water went bad for six people on, in, in a row. And nothing was done for four months. We begged the DEP and the drilling company, Williams, which is WPX now, to do something. They refused. So guess what I did? I called the emergency responders, Pima, the state of Pennsylvania. And one day later, they had water buffaloes and vent pipes and they detached their water. So we're declaring a water and air contamination emergency in the state of Pennsylvania, and they must respond. Come and, come and support us because water has now been damaged by fracking only, and we can prove it. Come to Demick and help us. In the near future, we'll let you know, and we're going to still support them. Demick is the Alamo. Thank you. That's great.